Hey guys, TechMentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your Apple Pencil if it's not working with your device like the iPad I have here or your iPad connects maybe with your Apple Pencil and still doesn't work or stop working or you're having random issues. So there's a couple things you can do to resolve this issue and walk you through all those troubleshooting steps. So let's get started. So whenever you're having issues with your Apple Pencil, the very first thing to check is to first verify that it's connected and the reason why it is sometimes you might be using it and disconnect so go into your settings and then you have to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on and under your my devices for Apple Pencil you want to make sure it says connected if it says not connected simply click on it and connect to it now the other thing you can do is also turn off your Bluetooth just to make sure that if you're having issues with the Bluetooth and then turn it back on it refreshes the Bluetooth here and then you can do is hit connect you might get not connected and if that's the case you want to take your Apple Pencil here. I have the second generation one, so all I do is put it on the top here. It's magnetics, and it should connect just like that and give us a percentage as well. Now, if you have the first generation of the Apple Pencil, it's going to plug into the charge port of your iPad. You just take the cap off and then put it in and charge it. The next thing you want to verify is the charge percentage of your Apple Pencil. Sometimes you may be using your Apple Pencil for some time and not realize that the charge might have been low or died and in order to check that it's really simple in your settings here all you do is go into your Apple Pencil option here so settings and there's an Apple Pencil option here as you can see here Apple Pencil it gives you the charge percentage remember your Apple Pencil charge is different from your iPad charge so this one as you can see it's right now at 79% which is good now if you need to charge all you'll have to do for the Apple Second generation one Apple Pencil, all you do again, put it there and it'll start charging. First generation, take the tip off, plug it into your charge port on your iPad and that will charge your Apple Pencil. Now after you have done that and you're still having issues, the next thing to verify is that your Apple Pencil is actually compatible with your iPad that you're trying to connect to. Because what happens is there's two generations right now of Apple Pencil. And to check the compatibility, all you'll do is go to your browser and search up the Apple Pencil that you have. So if I have Apple Pencil 2, I'll search up Apple Pencil and then the number 2 here. And I search for compatibility. Compatibility, if you go on to Apple Support website, which is the very first one, it will tell you which iPads are compatible with your Apple Pencil. As you can see, your Apple Pencil second generation is compatible with all this model, and then first generation is compatible with these models. So you want to verify that it's compatible. And sometimes we forget that if you have an older generation iPad, you won't be able to connect to a new iPad. If you have a newer version of iPad, you can't connect it with the older generation of Apple Pencil. It's just the way that Apple has designed this. Now, after you have checked that and you're still having issue, the next thing to check in your settings, if you're connected with the Apple Pencil but still not working, is ensure that under that, Apple settings here, pencil settings here, where it says scribble, if this is turned off, your Apple Pencil is not going to work. So make sure that it is turned on green just like that so that you can actually use your Apple Pencil. Now, after you have done that, the next thing that you want to do is if you're having issues with your iPad itself, it's time to give your iPad a restart or a force restart. In order to do that, you're going to hear press volume up and volume down and then hold the top button here so we're going to do volume up volume down and then hold the top button here and it's going to be oh let's try it one more time volume up volume down and i'm going to hold that top button just like that i'm not going to slide to power i'm going to wait till the screen goes completely black and then i'm going to let go of that top button here so again volume up and down one after another and then the side button the top button here and then we'll let go of that and that will restart the iPad and the reason why we need to do that is sometimes over time whenever your iPad's been on for a very long time it might have had some issues and we need to sort out those issues by reloading the code again now this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your videos photos apps will still be there and it will ensure that if there's issue with the iPad it will be resolved after this uh, re force restart and after you have done that go into your settings again verify one more time in your bluetooth here that the bluetooth is turned on and it is connected just like that and hopefully your apple pencil works now if it's still not working the next thing you can check out on your apple pencil is the tip itself so on the apple pencil here you'll notice here it's just like this 
And on the top here, it's a tip that pretty much if you twist it, you can pretty much take it off. To replace the tip, usually you just take it off and you put in a new tip. But sometimes this tip here can become loose. So in order to verify that it's correct, just re tighten it just one more time to make sure. You don't have to put too much pressure, but it has to be tight. Not super tight, but of course firm enough so that it's not loose here. And then check it out this time. Over time, when you use it so much, it just becomes loose and it just needs to be tightened. Now after you've done that and you're still having issues with your Apple Pencil, the next thing you need to do is uh, disconnecting and reconnecting your Apple Pencil for the very first time. So in order to do that, in your settings, Bluetooth for your Apple Pencil, we're going to click on the eye icon right here and then we're going to click on forget this device and we'll forget this Apple Pencil so that we can reconnect it again one more time. And to reconnect it one more time, all we'll do is if you have the second generation, just stick it on top just like that. For your first generation, just put it in the charge port and it will connect just like that and you're reconnected again. So if there was any issue with the connectivity, it will be resolved. Finally, after you have done that and you're still having issues, the next thing to ensure that your iPad is also up to date with the latest software version. In order to do that, we're going to be in settings again. We're going to go general and then we're going to go to software update and be make sure that you're connected to internet or cellular data and see if there's an update available. As you can see here, there's an update available, which is iPad OS 16.5. We want to ensure that our iPad is up to date so that if a previous version has caused the iPad not to work, this updated version hopefully will resolve the issue. So we'll click on download and install. And generally, this could take between half an hour to 45 minutes. So give yourself enough time and make sure your iPad is connected to a charger and updated. And hopefully, by after doing the update, your device and your Apple Pencil is working again. And that's it for all the troubleshooting steps and tips. And hopefully by now your Apple Pencil is working again. You can you start using it. And if this video was helpful, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.